Hello and welcome to On the Hook Crochet where we find out what's on the hook today. I am going to talk about a couple of acquisitions that I've made and about the progress on a sweater that I'm making. So I hope you'll stay tuned and let's get started. The first thing I wanted to talk about was an acquisition that I made a few days ago. I received this in a shipment and I showed you one of the types of yarn that I received, but I wanted to show you another one that came with it. And this is a pink color of cotton on denim by James Brett. It is 158 yards, half cotton, half acrylic, and it is quite beautiful. It is a pink-ish color. It's more like a rose color. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm trying to branch out and wear more pink. <laughs> Everybody says, why don't you wear pink? Well, I'm trying to branch out. But I wanted to show you this yarn, too, because I'm not sure if I explained this before when I was speaking about this particular yarn. I have made a sweater from it, and I'm getting ready to start a tank top with another color. But I wanted to show you this, and I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm going to put this up at the camera and see if you can see. Will it focus on that? Let's see if it'll focus. I don't know if you can see the detail on there, but this yarn is wound very tight. And what happens with that is that there's absolutely no halo on it. That's one thing, but it's wound very tight. So it's, it's not a terribly stiff yarn. It would be if it was a thicker yarn, but it's a thin yarn. And so it holds up very well. And I did find that when I was making my um, denim sweater I called it and I did a video about it a while back and I'll put a link down there to it and you can take a look if you haven't seen it but um, I made it with this same yarn except it was blue and one thing I noticed when I was making it is that the yarn itself is very tightly wound unlike the comfy cotton blend that I talked about in my last video where I finished the Johnny Topper and it was great and all, but wound very loosely and very soft. But I found, I, I realized that it's a size three, the Comfy Cotton Blend, but it behaves more like a four. This is a DK yarn. This is a number three yarn and it is quite thin, but it's not like the silk <laughs> that I bought. That's a number two and I'm still, struggling with that. I'm, I'm trying to make a tank top out of some silk yarn and I'm working on it a roll here and there but I'm not real excited about it I guess because it's so thin and I'm struggling just a little bit working with kind of a big hook where it comes to that. I mean I think that would probably work much better with a smaller hook. I think I'm using an H or a G, maybe it's a G, I don't know. But anyway, it's, it's, it seems to be too big for the silk yarn. So I'm gonna try to um, work on it until I get it finished. I did promise I was gonna finish that. So hopefully by, by the end of the summer, I'll have that tank top finished. But another yarn that I got, and I, I showed this in my last video, is the cotton on denim in purple. And what I did was I made my swatch with this to see how it would look when it was made up. And so I did that. And I wanted to show you that real quick. This is a this is a swatch of different types of stitches. And at the very top are the treble stitch. This is at the very top. And I might incorporate that somewhere in in the in the sweater that I'm gonna make. I think I'm gonna make a you know a sleeveless sweater, a tank top they call it. And I might incorporate that somewhere in the sweater. And how hard is that? You just do a different stitch. It's not that hard. And then I did three rows of half double crochets there. Just kind of see how it would look and how, how much you could see through it. And then a couple of rows of double crochet lace with a chain in between. Very, very simple. Everybody does that. And then a row of double crochet down here at the bottom and a row of singles at the very bottom. So that's kind of a look at what this yarn looks like when it's made up. It's quite beautiful and it's not stripy. It doesn't appear to be. It's, uh, it blends, the colors blend very well in this, just like they did in my denim sweater. So there's nothing new under the sun there. But I did want to show you that because when I start working on it, um, 
probably later this week or first of next week, I will have a good idea of how the stitches look and I can incorporate different stitches in there uh, to make it a little more interesting than just a plain old double crochet or half double crochet sweater. Now, last week I showed you the Cotton Supreme Splash yarn that I had bought and it's from Love Knitting and I did not realize that this is a number four. <laughs> I didn't realize it. I was thought I was ordering a DK and I started working on it and I realized it's kind of a big thread, you know, it's kind of a big yarn. There it is right there. And it's like, um, you know, it's a number four and I just didn't realize it. So I, I wanted to find out why it was that I didn't realize that was a number four. Even when I was working on it, I thought this is a DK weight. Well, I did find out why. And I'll tell you another thing that I found out after I, after I get through here. But this DK weight yarn is, where's my note? It's uh, 50 grams for 158 yards. Okay, that weighs 50 grams. It's very, very light. 158 yards. This is 180 yards, so that's 30 yards more, but it's very heavy. And I looked on the label and it's 100 grams. So I know this is an epiphany for me, but I've used a size four for so long and hardly ever used DK weight, which I really like using, that I didn't realize that the weight of the yarn is probably what they base the number on. So if you have 180 yards of this and it weighs 100 grams, and you have 150 yards of this that weighs 50 grams. That's way, that's half as much, that weighs half as much as this, but there are only 30 yards difference in the yarns. So, uh, ding, uh, epiphany. So that's one way that you can tell. If you say, oh, something's not really a four, if it's really lightweight, they could call it a number three. You know, even though you look at it and you go, that's a number four. But really, it's the weight of the yarn that matters. And I'll tell you how I found out, how I proved that to myself, after I put these down. I've been working on, this week, a sweater out of this, out of this yarn, number four. And I have, this is the inside, I'm sorry, you'll see some uh, loose ends here, here, you know, hanging out. This is how it looks made up. This is that yarn that I showed you. It's a number four, and this is how it looks made up. Now, I haven't gotten it sewn together or anything, but these are the pieces. And it's beautiful, but it weighs a ton. It really weighs quite a bit. Now, I'll be wearing it. I'm not worried about that. I've already got one of the sleeves almost finished, which is really cute, and, you know, basically did that myself. <laughs> I haven't released the pattern because I haven't written it down. But I have kind of figured out how I want to do these. And I mean, it's very easy. And I want to make patterns that are easy for people. I don't want to make advanced patterns with a lot of detail because really most people can't do that. Uh, you know, some people can, and that's awesome for those people. But for the most part, people don't want something so dreadfully difficult that they can barely get it made. And then, you know, what fun is that? I, it's much more fun to be able to do something, get it done in a week, and wear it. You know, that's what we're doing. So wearable crochet style. <laughs> that's the emphasis of my video channel. So in keeping with that, I'm going to design patterns that are easy to make. That's going to be like the, the thing I'm going to do. So I just wanted to show you that because it is very heavy. It's not extremely heavy, you know, but it's heavier than a DK weight would be. So I have enough of this pink yarn to make this same sweater. Probably, yeah, I probably do. I bought nine balls of it. And the denim sweater that I made earlier in the season was nine balls and I had a ball left over. So I think I'm good to go there. And I'm going to go ahead and make a sweater out of this. But I didn't mean to shake that so you can't read it. <laughs> there it is, cotton on denim. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. But I, now I realize that when you make something out of a four, it's very heavy in, in, in some ways. I'm not saying every single yarn is like that. 
But when you're reading about yarn on the internet or looking at Joann's and you pick it up and it's kind of heavy, look at the grams that it weighs and how many yards are in it. And you can figure out the easiest thing to do, how many yards are in a gram. And when you figure that out, you can say, oh, this is a lightweight yarn or a heavy yarn. And you kind of keep it in your mind because this is quite heavy, you know, for a sweater. This is, this is quite heavy. And actually it's like this. It's got a little bit of a scoop neck in the front and I designed it so that it would not choke you. <laughs> we don't want that. So, and I don't want to make the back and the front the same. I think that's cheating. I, I think really you should have a little bit of a scoop, even if it's not a huge scoop. I don't like really low cut sweaters or anything, but I, a, a short scoop is really the way sweaters should be designed so that they're not up here at your throat. So an extremely easy sweater would not have any adjustments for the neck. But I think beginning crocheters are smart enough and able to follow directions to scoop a neck a little bit. I just, I think that's very, very important. So those were the things I wanted to talk to you all about. And I went outside a minute ago and look what was waiting for me. This is the crochet surprise for the month of April and I have not opened it. I'm going to open it later today and uh, hopefully make whatever's inside or get it started anyway and then show it to you the next time we meet. So join me next time to find out what's on the hook.